Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In today's video, we are going to learn how to upgrade Deep Security Agent on Linux server. Friends, there are total two ways through which you can upgrade your Deep Security Agent on Linux server. So let me show you how you can do that. But before that, one small intro video. Welcome back guys. Now very first, we'll have to open our Deep Security Manager console. Enter your admin credential here. Once you logged in, then go to your computer tab. And then for an example, this is my Red Hat server. If I double click and then go to the action, as you can see, my current version is 20.0.0.5137. And here I got the option to upgrade the agent which means the latest version is available then this so let's check out the latest version for that let me close this and then go to the administration in administration expand the updates and then software and click on the local guys as you can see this is my currently installed version that is 20.0.0.5137 and the latest version now available that is 5394 Guys, in my previous video where I have demonstrated how to install fresh deep security agent on Red Hat server in which we have imported this particular package manually and after this, this version is populated automatically and it's marked as a latest. You can see the green symbol here. So for that particular OS type like uh, REHL 9, you don't have to import any version again and again. Deep security will automatically import that version and show you in the console. So now let's talk about how we can do the installation. The very first thing is you can right click and then export this package for an installer. I personally prefer installer and similar way you can select your agent version and export from here also. But I'm not going to cover this manual installation because we have already learned this in my very first video. If you haven't watched that then there here is a link. You can click on this link to watch the video. In this video, instead of manual installation, we'll install our Deep Security Agent using our Deep Security Manager itself. So let's go click on computers, double click on your Linux server, that is my Red Hat server. Here you can check my OS version, RHL 964 bit. Go to the actions and now here I'll choose upgrade agent. Friends, let me show you one more thing also. If you have multiple server, then you can upgrade your Deep Security Agent from this particular tab also where you can select your multiple server or multiple group like this and then right click go to the action and select upgrade agent software and that is for the group operation as well as individual also but let me show you from this place the process is completely same whether you are doing from the any specific machine or in the computer tab now let me select the version so this is my latest build so let's select that next do you want to schedule the installation? So no, but if you want, you can schedule as per your downtime or your convenient. For me, now is fine. Okay. That's it guys. Right, this is my current version and it will get upgraded to this particular version. So we have to wait for some time. You can see the process has been started. Processing one upgrade. And friends, here we go. Our deep security agent has been successfully upgraded to the latest version. Now let's go back to our general. It looked like my application control inventory scan is in progress, but not the issue. Our version has been upgraded to the latest version. Now let me close this. Now friends, we'll directly jump into our Linux machine to check the version using putty. So let's jump into that. On Linux machine, very first open terminal. Then let's use admin command. To check our deep security agent version, we need to run one command that is yum info ds underscore agent and then hit enter. Here we go 20.0.0.5394. This is the version of my deep security agent which is currently installed on this machine. Now let's go back to our deep security manager. So guys, this is how you can upgrade your deep security agent using your deep security manager console. And if in case, if you decide to upgrade your deep security agent by exporting your installation package and going into that particular Linux server and do the manual installation, then again, click on the I button because in that video, I have explained how to install fresh deep security agent on any of the Linux machine. And from that particular video, you can only capture the steps from agent package export to installation. That's it. It's very much simple guys. Now I hope you have learned something with me. 
If so, please click on the like button and don't forget to share this video. If you are new to my channel, then consider subscribing and then click on the bell icon so that you will never miss my future video notification. That's it in this video. This is Sohan, signing out.